Hey everybody, welcome to today's thoughts where we discuss world news, pop news, and church news. We discuss it all. <laughs> okay, so in world news, we have Donald J. Trump, President Donald J. Trump, planning this huge TV stunt as he exit the White House. He is planning on flying Air Force One all the way to Florida, hoping to pull views from uh, elect Joe Biden's viewership of, of his inauguration. Why? Why? I don't, I don't get it. Well, one, Trump, you said that you would consider rerunning for 2024. So if that's the case, I would think you would want to leave out as as positively as you possibly can. I just, I don't get it. And then also you're breaking tradition. It is the outgoing president supposed to demonstrate a peaceful transfer of power to the newly elected president. Okay, if you're mad that you lost, if you if you felt like they stole the election from you, okay, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Most of your cases have been thrown out by judges. You know, if this is what you really want, get your team together and focus on 2024. If this is the case, I think you have better things to do than to try to fly over the inauguration. It's over. It's done. It's done. Partner with someone that can help you win with 2024. Personally, I'm not going to vote for you. That just, that's just me personally. <laughs> now with pop news. Sadly to say, Natalie DeSalle, uh, who was best known with her, in her roles with um, Holly Berry on BAPS. That was one of my favorite movies. Booyah! That's my girl! That's my girl! <laughs> and um, she also played alongside Brandy and Whitney Houston in the Cinderella um, remake. She has passed at the age of 53. But let's keep her family and friends and those who hold her near and dear to their heart in our prayers. We, we express our sincerest condolences. Sleep in heaven, beautiful queen. Uh-huh. So, on a different note, I want to give a shout out to Regina King. She will be featured in People's Magazine for People of the Year. Way to go, Queen. Way to go. That's a great honor, and um, you did good. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing already because <laughs> in church news. So, <laughs> so, there's this California pastor that have decided to turn, turn his church into a temporary strip club. <laughs> because a San Diego judge ruled that strip clubs can reopen, but churches have to remain closed to indoor services. And I don't understand that. To me, strip clubs... <laughs> How can you social distance at a strip club? You know, you know, if, if you're watching the stripper or watching the dancer and you throw money at the stage, you got your mask on, however you do it, I don't know. What's the difference in a congregant sitting in the pew watching the minister? I I don't get it. You you still gotta practice social distance wherever you go and you have to stay masked up. So I'm not sure why. Um <laughs> why the strip clubs can be reopened, but churches cannot. But he says that he's going to temporarily change the name. It's going to say strip club at the end. And what he's going to do, he's going to um, take off his necktie. <laughs> he's going to take off something else. While the congregation, they're going to hold up dollar bills and they're supposed to wave it and cheer it. <laughs> What is this world coming to? But hey, you got to do what you got to do. And if he feel like he got a word to give out and he want his congregants present while he preached that word, he's doing what he feel he has to do. Now, my prayer is that your behind don't get arrested. <laughs> but hey, let me know your thoughts, please, in the comments below. 
do you agree that this pastor is right for turning his church into a strip club? Hey, that pastor say by any means necessary. <laughs> See you in the next video for today's thoughts.